God's hands, St. Paul tells us in this beautiful little passage, holy passage, to his friend Timothy, he says, and these could be our words to one another in sharing the discipleship of Christ. He says to Timothy, and always I remember you in my prayers. I remember your tears and long to see you to complete my happiness. Then I am reminded of the sincere faith you have that came first to live in your grandmother, Lois, and then in your mother, Eunice. And I have no doubt that same faith is in you. We share that faith. We share that faith. We share that friendship. We share that vision. We share that discipleship. We share that ministry. So my dear friends, my dear disciples here in Idaho, Keep reminding yourselves of the faith you share in your discipleship with each other. And please continue to keep sharing it with kindness and integrity. Thank you. We have a chance for a few questions and then I'm going to be rushing to the airport because about this graduate and tomorrow night will be a lot more tears than laughter in the parish. like the finance people, the folks who do, you know, office stuff, how do we get them to see that they're an integral part of how we engage the parish, even though they might not directly be a part of the ministry? A lot of that is initially the pastor's task, by meeting with them one-on-one, -on -one, letting them know how important they are. And if that doesn't work, uh, then you got to let each other know that we're part of this one body. We need each other. Um, one of the things we're doing, I've lost two staff members. One is retiring after 19 years and another died, our DRE. And I decided I can't put square pegs in round holes. They were unique people. So we're gonna hire to the, what needs to be done in the parish. But we're, we're no longer gonna be a pastor and a staff. We're going to be the office of the pastor. They are gonna be part of that office. We're gonna share together all of our insights. So, a business manager needs to be there because finances oftentimes dictate some of what happened to be there. Secretary needs to be there in case people call in. We all need to be there. Yeah, the bottom of the line, the final decision is going to have to be mine. But there is already, since we started this a month ago, a real sense of ownership now that we're all in this together. We've got to bring each other up to that. But quite honestly, the vision always comes from the, the pastor down. But that doesn't mean you don't. We're very trainable. Every animal in the world can be trained in some way or another, so can a pastor. So part of your ministry, if the case may be, if the case may be, is oh, my staff has trained me in a lot of ways, I know that. That's not an insult. You may have to do some training. Um, so up next, what, what, because unfortunately my table is seated with me and I chat a lot, so what were four and five? What were those two I points? I not put a number on them. Okay, we got some type A's here. Oh boy. I have them. Four is practice what we preach, and five is you can't lie around it. You can't lie around it? Okay. You can't lie Thank around it. You. you can't lie around it. Now you know who my ghostwriter was, Richard. You mentioned a couple of times um, how important it is for priests that are come moving into a new parish that they listen to some of the people that are already there. How can members of the staff that are in that, how could they encourage that? If, if you were in their position, what would you do to support that? First, I'd suggest, if the suggestion isn't made, 
pull up your big boy pants and do it yourself. You start meeting with the people, then you bring that back to staff meetings. These are 10 people I'm gonna meet with this quarter, because I know they're important, influential. They may not be the ones that are presidents of all the societies and organizations. These are people whose insights I need to share. And on a one-on-one -on -one -on -one is a very simple technique. I'm here to listen to what you have to tell me. Tell me your story. Why are you here? What do you see the needs of the parish at? What are your concerns? And not be defensive and just listen. Then bring that data back to the staff meetings. Bring it back to your office, your position. Use it. It really can make a difference. It almost sounds too simplistic, but it really works. <laughs> Blessing being with you. Continued success the rest of today and tomorrow, and uh, with this coming year, it sounds really exciting with the, with the Eucharistic Congress and the, the Hispanic Summit. Uh, uh, blessings on the ministry. If you're in Chicago, look up St. Gertrude Parish. We're only a mile away from Wrigley Field. Yeah.